Have you guys ate your halibut today? All right, guys, 5th of July. Uh, hope everybody had a good 4th. We had the big flag out yesterday. Salute to the flag. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, it was kind of fun taking this baby out. After a couple months, had it all covered up and tucked away nice. Took that up and had some coffee this morning. And uh, one of the reasons I pulled it out is because I have to get the 53 out. We got sprayers coming today to go around the house here. Give me a chance to clean up that wood pile a little bit. And so I will set up a little tripod in the passenger seat here so we can get inside and crank this up and move it out. And I'll bring you guys back when I get set up. All right. Well, I'm seeing if you can guys can see all this. Take, take, check one. Let's see, what are we doing here? Trying to get this thing, try that. Okay, how can you guys see this? Take one. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna give it uh, the electric fuel pump. We're gonna hold it on for about five seconds, pump that gas up through the mechanical. It's a real saver on the starter on this. Go over and check out uh, Andy's Doghouse Garage if you wanna see a recent uh, electric fuel pump put in front of a mechanical. So we'll give it some key, a couple pumps, some choke, and we'll hope for the best here. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let it run and warm up a little bit here. I'm gonna take the uh, battery tender off. Hope you guys can see me. Hope everybody had a good fourth. I think I already said that, but hope you did. And um, I'll take the battery uh, tender off of here and clear out around it. There's tons of stuff on it. And then I think we'll uh, clean her up and see how we can get her looking with a little wash job here and then take her for a spin too. So, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, here's the 53 warming up. We're gonna take everything away from it and pull it out. So I'll be back in a little bit. my happy face.
Okay guys, here's the 53 all washed up. And uh, yeah, she's a lot of fun to drive. Drives real nice. Done a lot of work on it. Uh, anybody that hasn't seen my channel or this truck, you can go back and see lots of work on it. So yeah, go ahead and do that. That'd be nice. Leave a comment and uh, yeah, so there we go. I'm on my way to uh, DOL. I uh, got a notice from work that my driver's license, the CDL with uh, hazmat endorsement, had a restriction on it, and they had a good idea that it was the DOT physical that's been expired, and that's what it was. I called and going to go take care of it now, so I'm gonna drive this drive this truck over there. And I have to walk around the tree here. Sorry about that. And so, yeah, here's a look at the 53. And uh, we'll go ahead and just go ahead and jump on in. Uh, so you get a chance to look at the inside that way as well. Got the five window cab there. And she's pretty stock. Uh, put these buckets in it and a little console in the middle there. I got the bench seat at home, but it needs reupholstered. And to be honest with you, this is so much more comfortable. And... Uh, the truck with the bench here and uh, she's got a uh, four speed with that compound granny gear so we'll just go over and use second here and e-brake works good so let's go oops I don't really like that windshield wiper I can good old vacuum wipers you know you got to give them last time I used the truck uh, I actually got caught in the rain, so they don't always go all the way back, but would it be an old 70 year old truck if everything was perfect? <laughs> all right, and my after gauge gas gauge, the aftermarket gas gauge there. I, I'm gonna fix the one in the dash when I redo the, the one uh, Speedo cluster has been uh, redone, but the other side isn't, but I got the decal kit for it. And then uh, I do still have to get the the gauge, it's a 12 volt gauge. So, yeah, we'll go for a little ride here. Kind of a short little video today, but yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by on the last uh, couple of videos there. Nice to see all you guys again. And yeah, so we'll take your little cruise. I still have the 355 uh, ring and pinion at home and all the seal kit for this truck. Uh, be nice to get that in one day to be able to drive it out on the highway a little better because uh, there's a uh, third gear already. We're only doing 15 or so and then that's it. There's fourth. She, I'd take her up a little ways. It says 20, but I think it's actually going a little faster than that. Probably doing about, this is 20 through here when they have the speed limit posted for the school. And I, I don't usually, I don't think I'm usually going quite this fast, so it's more like probably 25, 30 right now. We got uh, 25 on there, but yeah, she's got a lot of lot of reserve power. Uh, I just don't know if uh, I'm revving it up a little bit much. This engine's a um, 235, so it's been upgraded, and they're a real power plant, so. Uh, yeah, I probably could take it up to 40, maybe even 50. I know the uh, couple of my buddies' truck, um, Dave over at Wolf on his uh, truck will do 80 with the closed diff, the 411 rear end, and a three on the tree. I'm kind of thinking that three on the tree could be uh, geared a little bit different on the transmission, given a little taller gears, but. Uh, and 80 is pushing his truck way uh, beyond. He cruises 50 comfortably, but I, I don't get 50 comfortably. So therefore I'm thinking that the uh, the rear, uh, the gearing on mine's a little lower. So, and that's a pretty uh, common upgrade is to put that 355 in here. So anyways, okay, well, uh, just working my way over to DOL. It's a beautiful day. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit here. 
Alright guys, I'm back and uh, yeah, I'm just going to pull in uh, to the DOL here and uh, yeah, the truck is running really, really good. I mean, it's just a lot of fun to drive and uh, so I'm glad I got her out today. And I think that's going to be about it, guys. I don't want to keep you around too long. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I thought I would share with you uh, how I just got ripped off at DOL. So uh, what I didn't mention before was I needed to uh, go get corrective lenses put on my driver's license so I could take the DOT test because the last couple times I came really close to failing. So I made a little trip down to the... DOL to do that and they're charging me 20 bucks to uh, make a new license and then an hour or so when I get my DOT physical and come back and put that on it's another 20 so anyways I thought I would share that that news with you guys but it's all good so anyways yeah <laughs> Have a nice day, guys. Catch you on the next one. Hey, guys, I'm back. Yeah, I just wanted to wrap with you guys a little bit. I'm on the way up to coffee. I knew you wanted to take a little cruise at 4.30 in the morning. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, be taking a little road trip later today. I'm going by myself over to eastern Washington to our place uh, at Sunland. I'm going to check on the irrigation, spend a couple days over there, uh, spend some time with the 55 truck, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, come on over with me. I'll be putting a video out this weekend, and I uh, want to thank you guys for the positive feedback on the fishing video. That was really awesome of you guys, and yeah. Um, just want to let you guys know too how much I appreciate you. I've uh, over the last couple of years, I've made some really good friends on YouTube. Everybody talks about how they got the best supporters on YouTube, and I've got the best supporters on YouTube, and some of my best friends as well. And uh, I got my my family at home. I got my fishing family. And I got my YouTube family. There's our traffic finder that comes in really handy right now. There we go. And uh, yeah, so here we go down the road. We've been here before. <laughs> yeah, it's a good good way for me to get caught up on uh, some of the YouTube stuff in the morning. Uh, I get up way before my wife does and uh, gives me a chance to come up here and get caught up chat with you guys a little bit so anyhow Good thing for the old uh, necker knob here. Where did it go? There it is. Makes steering real easy when you're trying to film in one hand and steer in the other. I can crank this thing around and miss the car behind me here. There we go. And here we are. Anyway, so I'll say goodbye to you guys now and hopefully I catch you on the weekend. And, uh, yeah, sun still hasn't quite came up yet. So here we are. I'll catch you guys in a little while. Thanks for coming by. Be safe. Till next time.